Our top story tonight, Nelson killed in Northeast Bakersfield nearly three years ago. And today, a dark chapter in the Nelson family and the department closed as justice was served. 23 ABC Scott Sheehan has been covering the case and joins us live outside of the courtroom after speaking with the jury foreman about how they came to that decision. Scott. Tim, Jessica, the jury came back around 315 this afternoon, saying that Julian Hernandez was guilty of all five felony counts, including second degree murder and evading arrest, resulting in a police officer's death. Second degree murder of David Nelson, guilty. Evading a peace officer, causing death or serious bodily injury, guilty. It was an emotional day in court while Officer David Nelson's family waited for the verdict to be read. They were hugging and holding each other. When the guilty verdicts were read, they all sighed with relief while wiping their eyes. It doesn't bring David back, you know, and it doesn't come anywhere close. Uh, but for what the law allows, um, we got justice today. and It's the right verdict. The jury took about a day to deliberate and come to a verdict. The jury foreman said that they started with the lowest charge and worked their way to second degree murder. Eventually, he said the jury decided guilty of second degree because Hernandez knew the risks he was causing. Could have been the homeless person walking or a, a Bakersfield College youth walking at that time coming home from a party that you have to think in those things going double the speed that you know in your mind there is a high probability that you're going to hurt yourself or somebody else. Hernandez's attorney says he disagrees with the ruling and does not agree that malice of forethought went into the death of Officer Nelson. Given the facts that I know of the case, I think that the count two was probably appropriate. I'm not so, I'm not convinced about the uh, second degree murder charge. Hernandez will be back in court tomorrow for a court trial about his prior felonies, after which we'll have a better idea of when his sentencing will occur. Hernandez's defense attorney told me that they plan to appeal the case, while the deputy district attorney told me that he expects a sentence of 25 years to life. Outside the county courthouse, Scott Sheehan, 23 ABC News.